Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fast Tip Friday. In this episode, we're going to look at using 4K footage in a 1080p timeline. In this example, we're using Premiere Pro, but the same technique applies to other editors. So let's head into Premiere Pro. I've already got this project open. Notice we've got this A camera bin. And this footage was shot with a Canon 6D Mark II at 1080. So the quickest way to create a 1080 timeline is to simply drag this in to the timeline panel. And now we've got our 1080 sequence. We've also got this drone bin and this footage was shot with a DJI Mavic 2 Pro. This footage was shot in 4K UHD. Let's just choose one of these and we'll drag that into the timeline. Notice the source panel on the left shows the whole mountain here, whereas the footage in the timeline is shown a zoomed in version. This is because the 4K footage is a higher resolution and Premiere Pro doesn't automatically scale it to the sequence settings. So if we want to see the entire scene, we'll click on the clip and come over to effect controls and modify the scale to 50%. Just hit enter and now we can see that the timeline clip is showing us the same zoom as the source view. So if we just go and play this, we can see the entire zoom. Another cool thing about using 4K footage in a 1080 timeline is that you can actually perform some digital zooming after the fact in post without losing too much quality because you've got the extra resolution from the 4K footage. So let's take a look at this. What I'm just going to do is trim this footage and I'll just play it so you can see what it looks like before we do the digital zoom. So the drone's moving down and to the left here and it's just continuing to pan. So let's create a digital zoom. Once again, click on the clip, come to effect controls, just going to hit home to go to the first frame of this clip and we're going to click this button here to toggle animations for scale. This creates a keyframe on the first frame of the clip. Just going to hit end to go to the last frame and let's set the zoom to 100%. So now if we have a look at this clip, I'll just play that. We can see it starts zoomed out and as the clip progresses the zoom continues inwards. And we can see here on the left the scale is going up between the two keyframes. And now the drone is panning to the left at the same time as the digital zoom is happening. Another cool use for this digital zoom effect if you're using 4K footage in a 1080 timeline is to recreate the dolly zoom or vertigo effect. I've already done a video on this which I'll link to in the description and at the end of this video. If you like this video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and if you're not already subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and if you want to be notified of future videos be sure to click the notification bell. See ya!